This absolutely goated webtoon has just ended after over a decade of being on the webtoon site. And this webtoon is Love Revolution. And this, this webtoon is possibly one of my favorite ever webtoons in the romance genre and the drama genre. And I will go through it. So this, ro this webtoon is a reverse of the normous, normal Sonya trope. And the Sonya trope is, you know, oh, the guy's cool and badass, and and the girl is kind of like, ooh, oh my god, what's happening, kind of kind of person, you know. And they are a pair, and that's the usual trope. However, they reverse this trope, where the girl is the cool, calm, and collected one, while the boy is the, oh my gosh, what is happening, stumble, stumble, cutesy movement kind of guy. And basically, these two characters are named Gong Joo Young and Wang Zha Rim. And their names are also puns, because Gongju in Korean means princess, and his name is Gongju Young, the guy's name. And the girl's name is Wang Zha Rim, and Wang Zha in Korean means prince, so it li her name literally has prince in it, while his name literally has princess in it. Figures, right? The Wopton starts off as a very funny rom-com of the guy continually going for the girl, and the girl being an absolute iron wall. Nope, I am not gonna date you. And while the guy is trying his very best to impress her and give her gifts, and he is very, very sweet overall. However, the girl is just gets overall pissed off by that, and it's kind of this fun little dynamic between these two characters. And it is very, very fun. It was very famous for having a very realistic representation of Korean high school life. And I definitely agree with that, because a lot of the jokes, the language that the characters uses, and the setting in itself, it's all just a staple of the Korean high school experience, of course a little bit idealized since yes, it is fiction. However, the webtoon is not just a dynamic love story between these two, it has so many characters. I mean, look at this, this is just like half of the main cast, and this is, this is amazing. And basically, that's the main character, that's the main girl, and these are all the side supporting characters. And the hover, the webtoon, basically turns into a character study of all of these characters, with, which then leads to one of the most beautiful psychological stories I've ever seen. We get to see the backstories of every single one of these characters, how they think, and the drama that occurs because of misunderstandings and twisted mindsets. Like Minji, this character, she makes a mistake, right? She makes a very bad mistake, and that basic, but however, she has a victim complex. Everyone else is bad, she's always good, and she talks behind people's backs, and we see how what that brings her in her high school life. We see Kyomo's problem. We see all of these characters' problems and issues and good parts and their hidden selves and their actual selves and their social selves, and we see this it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It deals with so many themes. Self-doubt, teenage angst, insecurity, egotistness, toxicity, and like, you know, victim complexes. It has all of these diverse and beautiful themes embodied through this diverse and gorgeous and likable real characters in a perfect setting. And it is possibly one of the best weapons I've ever read. And the complexity of the foreshadowing and the plot of the drama and the way that's done, the way that's executed, especially from around the halfway point, this is a very long webtoon, as you can see, it has over 400 episodes, 10 years, figures, right? Um, is insane. The author is an absolute genius when it comes to her foreshadowing with the title of the chapter, uh, the connections between the little scenes, the cutscenes, and the little shows of emotion that each character sh each character makes. It's insane. And the entire 10 years, the readers in the comment section were like, okay, that must mean that. And like, it was just a literature analysis club at this point. We we're trying to piece together these different pieces of evidence to see where, where the foreshadowing is going to lead us. And I think that in itself is a show of how good um, the author, 232, is. And it feels so real. I have been reading for the past two years. I haven't read, I'm not like an OG reader in any means. However, it is overall one of the best romance drama weapons I've ever read with truly relatable characters, the themes, or shadowing, the complexity of the freaking dynamics between the characters. And, and overall, it reflects 
high school life of a typical Korean teenager. And in itself, it is absolutely beautiful. S tier, if you couldn't already tell. And I did struggle to find an English version of um, this webtoon. This in itself, I don't think. This is not an English version, by the way. As you can see, that is not English. Um, but this is the only page I could find that said Rev Love Revolution, so there it is. And yeah, I mean, these are the two main characters. As you can see, the cool common collected, and oh my god, ooh, ooh, what is happening? As you can see, it the roles of the girl and the guy has been reversed, and that in itself is a fun subject of comedy. And yeah, S tier would highly, highly, highly recommend. Even if you, everything is there for you, if you like rom-com, complex drama, complex characters, and beautiful plot, and a beautiful story. Again, I would highly recommend it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. See you in another webtoon rant. Have a great day. This is Love Revolution, my favorite webtoon. I did struggle to find an English version, as I've said, but hopefully, I mean, you guys can find a Ray, right? Just, you know, search it up on Google, find some slightly shady sites. Uh, I'm not going to encourage that. Have a great day, everyone. Goodbye.